Yeah, we'll just know we'll just start. Uh, hi, this is Sanjay. What's your name? Hi, my name is Rahul. I'm Rahul. the co-founder of uh, Mac, Melanda Tony Components. So these are what, retrofit uh, scooters? Yeah, so we make a retrofitable EV kit. What it does, it takes a run-of-the-mill IC engine vehicles and converts them into full-powered, retrofitable hybrid vehicles, which are smart. So it's got an IoT built where you can see the location of the vehicle, GPS, and how much you have covered how much you have covered electric. So basically what the kit does is, it gives you an option to ride, the, ride your vehicle either on petrol or electric, as in when you, you, you go to whatever your comfort level is. When your electric car gets over, you switch over to petrol with a flick of a switch, right? Yes. And then when you are done with that, when you are riding in petrol, the electric battery also gets charged, so it takes care of any kind of a range anxiety or not dependency on electrical infrastructure for charging. Can we have your co-founder? Is he here? What's his name? His name is Rakesh. I'll just be on the same one second. Yeah. So, no, no, that's fine. We'll continue with you. I'm okay. just coming on the other side. Let him come. Uh, now, this uh, thing, have you, uh, are you the first people to develop it in India? Absolutely. So we have a patent, we have five patents, yes. out of which we have a patent on the motor, we have a patent on this throttle, first of its kind throttle. The overall idea ideation is that uh, people don't need to change any part of their behavior to adapt to a new technology. Right, right. right. They don't have to put in their brain that where I'm traveling today and hence what vehicle I need to drive. So you, it gives you the flexibility to choose either a petrol or an electric as in with the comfort, right? So there's no change in uh, driving behavior or a uh, usage behavior for a consumer. Okay. And is this possible for any type of uh, model of scooter? Yeah. Suppose so, we are talking of an old Bajaj, uh, Chetak. No. So we are looking at scooters specifically like Honda Activa. Or an access so you mean to say that uh, poor scooters made in 2000? Yes, 125, 110 cc with okay. less than 15 years of All right. age. Uh, these are the scooters that are more adept to getting changed. And how about the safety feature? Be a bit loud. Yeah. yeah. So we have taken care of safety in each and every aspect because this product is designed in India for Indian weather conditions and by us. So the entire thought process is that safety is paramount for us. So starting from right from the motor where we have thermal protection to the controllers, the placement of the controllers as well as the battery with the latest uh, metal enclosures and, and uh, passive PMS, we are taking care of safety in all formats where the hazards like uh, fire hazard are being, uh, not, would not happen. So right. And uh, since this is uh, dual energy, I would say. Yes, right? dual energy. So when you're talking about petrol as a fuel and when you're giving it electric charging. Yes. So, there is a risk uh, of catching fire? No. No, absolutely Because the not. petrol so tank time, or something? No, so the petrol tank, the, the placement of battery is such that it is away from the uh, petrol right, tank. Right, right. The architecture of the old vehicle and on which we'll put in a layer of a new, in, new electrical and electronics onto it. So, it's totally different. So, there is no interference between our new kit and the old infrastructure. And this electric uh, will take us how many kilometers on a single on charge? On a single charge, it will take you about 40 kilometers and that's the actual road condition that we are talking okay. about. So, it will cover 40 kilometers on a single charge with a top speed of 50 kilometers. And this hour. is presently, uh, you can do it in two wheelers. Yes. Uh, can you do it in modified two wheelers for the handicapped, the Divyangja? Yes. So, uh, that would be another uh, area handicap, where yeah. it would be so needed. Normally what you would have seen is that they have two wheels on the side yes. for the handicapped. Yes. So this can be retrofitted on that way. Yeah. So, so the cost will be the same absolutely. at the it moment? Absolutely. It will become the same. It will be, be the same. Yeah. And but, uh, they can switch over to which right. And what about uh, our uh, bike, uh, you know? Yeah. So would bike uh, be... comes with an inherent disadvantage of space, fitment space. So that's the reason. Yeah. That's otherwise, the reason. you could have uh, yeah, managed. Otherwise, we could have done that. Right. So what typically happens is most of the people with bike they already have a high mileage, and hence the per kilometer cost of operations are also pretty low okay. as compared to scooter. Right. So in this scooter, when you're talking with per kilometer, so when we are going to convert it into electric vehicle, yes. So what will be the running cost as of today? Yeah. So when you're running on an electric 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इलेक्ट्रिक पर किलोमीटर रनिंग कॉस्ट विल बी क्लोज टू अबाउट टेन पैसे पर किलोमीटर रियली ओके सो यू मीन टू से दैट सैमरी इज गोइंग टू डू से फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स ऑन अ सिंगल चार्ज सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन सो इट्स गोइंग टू हैव एनी रुपीज अबाउट फोर टू एट फोर टू एट रुपीज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच स्टेट यू आर इन यस यस दैट इज परफेक्ट टेन टू ट्वेंटी पैसे पर किलोमीटर राइट ऑपरेटिंग राइट इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक एंड वट एवर इज गोइंग इन टू मेकिंग दैट टू फिट सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर डेवलपिंग इट आर यू मीन्स यू नो buying it or you're making no, no, it your no. the entire kit is yes. entirely manufactured in india by us with our own design and with the support of ape we have uh, been able to you're incubated, incubated where are you incubated uh, in with through aim through anik through anik okay. in bangalore in bangalore yeah. so it's not incubation there we have got so are you out of bangalore you've come to delhi Absolutely. now ओके बिकॉज यू आर नंबर कर्नाटका एंड द क्वेश्चन विच आई आज यू ऑफलाइन वॉज वेन टूडे द इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर और इलेक्ट्रिक कार इज है ग्रीन नंबर प्लेट सो वेन यू गेट इन दिस देन हाउ विल है ट्रांसपोर्ट अथॉरिटी हाउ विल इट डू इट so uh, the nearest closest example that i can talk about is like an lpg conversion kit or a cng kit okay when that conversion happens they don't get a green code as such they get an endorsement on the natio so that's done uh, have you been uh, able to get no, that authorization that we are still in the trial phase where we are going through our ari certification post the ari certification we have to because we are the first in india to yes. do this on a statutory level right. as well as in terms of the entire compliance level so we, then we have to approach the ministry of road as well as the rto and get a process laid out which will be similar to what what is happening with four wheelers now yeah. what's your background in uh, terms of education engineering yeah. okay. or so uh, me and the founder prakash both have passed out from uh, pms college bangalore after that uh, i worked for a year with escape bearings and then uh, i did my mba for my it karapur i went on to work with tata motors for about 5 years in sales and marketing was that i have quit and we have started so why did you really think of this you know because see like anybody who's like you said bike uh, people are having suppose 80 kilometers or liter or 60 kilometers and even i think the sonda activa is supposed to give 40 plus so do you think that you have enough market people would like to pay so it's a mixed bag what our research tells us yes. is that there are a lot of problems in the industry today which the consumer is facing that we are not actually addressing which is drumming out that noise saying that electric electric yes the positive part is you get a very low cost of operation say 10 to 20 pesos but what people are not talking about is the range anxiety that people feel moment it from 50 to 30 percent drop happens within second the anxiety that the gentleman feels is you cannot talk you don't talk about that right now secondly people don't talk about obsolescence technology obsolescence the technology is uh, rapidly evolving so please come please join us yeah. be in sync come therefore again the sit come so we have uh, the co-founder uh, so what's your name i am rakesh okay so you people are from bangalore is it yes we are from bangalore yeah so we have discussed a lot of things about the machine the men behind the machine <laughs> but since you've just come in so you can give your own introduction a little loud yeah so i am rakesh uh, i'm a graduate from bms uh, bms college right. passed out together we both passed out together in 2004 started our career together as a gets we had our ways different ways i was a more of a technical side i worked with uh, tvs motors and mahindra yeah. and skf india limited right. as a product development Good. so rahul was uh, driving more of a market side so that's where we got back together in 2016 perfect and uh, so i focus more on the product side and rahul brings his uh, yeah. abilities and competence so when he j- came in so my question to him was uh, ideally uh, means the people you know like i have a scooter say now i'll just tell you my case i bought a scooter in 1986 which is a kinetic yeah. honda It's the first automatic scooter in India. <laughs> I've got the first piece. Yes, perfect. I've yeah. done about ten thousand kilometers in last thirty-four uh, years. My father, parent didn't allow me. Yeah. I just bought it, you know. <laughs> Cycle ni chalana, like uh, automatic scooter lena. I was thinking, we are using a, like I thought ki uh, people tell me it's not a fifteen. You know, you've crossed that fifteen-year-old limit. Yeah. I might be uh, stop somewhere and just say, how are you riding this? Yeah. So I thought that I will go in for electric, you know. <laughs> so uh, we were talking that uh, would people invest? This Ottawa is pretty expensive. So when with forty thousand, 
Wouldn't it be prohibitive, you know, to invest? Means why will he go in for a lakh of rupees for the scooter and then go in for electric? So how will it work? How will the economics? How, how, how this works is yes. Activa as a product was launched in Indian market in 2003. Yes. Okay, it's been running in the market and is the most successful product. Line, which means like we have a product which is almost 10 year old in the market. And if you look at the same sentiment of a customer is that the vehicles are really good. They don't want to let it go. Okay, this is one segment. Yes. Second, the same people who have been using these Activas are also being in, uh, informed about electric vehicles. They know the cost of running is higher with petrols. They want to see an alternative to that. But when it comes to the maturity of a technology today, so there's a, it is still evolving. So people want something which is a, immediately which can solve their problem in terms of range anxiety which is there in electric vehicles. The range anxiety in electric mobility will be solved only if you have a very strong infrastructure for traffic. Unless you have that kind of a reach, how you have a petrol station, the ability of electric becoming a primary mobility solution is still a little farther away for a country like with a size and uh, size of uh, India. And even with swapping technology, we are talking about penetration into rural India, tier 2, tier yes, 3 yes. cities. That's where the 80% of the market is today. And that's where the activas get sold. That's where the pollution happens. Petrol is getting used. Kerosene, petrol, diesel, everything is used. So uh, the infrastructure for it to penetrate, CNG, we have been talking about CNG for so many years. Uh, uh, Delhi as a center and 300 kilometers around will still get CNG. But you go in a little bit further. Interior, you won't get. So what about that? Who, yes. the, who takes care about them? Who gives them the benefit of electric charging? So, so our question, uh, what we yes. would, so, yeah. So with this two context, one is yes. the vehicles which are Maybe, there yeah. in the market. Vehicles which are there in the market. And people were already informed about electric mobility as a solution. The next third challenge which comes is affordability. For example, if a customer decides to buy a, a decent vehicle, which is from a, a known brand, product which has been tested, approved for all the various uh, safety concerns and reliability issues, it comes somewhere near 90,000 rupees to his expense. Now, this is where the customers will step back and see, okay, I have a vehicle which is there, a been workhorse for me for almost like, as you said, 15, 14 years with me. I don't have any complaint. Maybe outsiders doesn't value it, but I value it. It just doesn't matter. Like yes. If you want to scrap the same vehicle, people won't even give you like 1,000, 2,000 bucks. Right, yes. But the value for that vehicle with you is beyond that value. Beyond that, yes. Okay. So these are the people who think, yes, I have a good vehicle. So I, they would get into okay. so for him, conversion. So if, if he brings, when he brings every thoughts to take a decision to buy, he has an option to buy a pure electric good vehicle, which will be costing 80,000, which means he has to bring another scooter. Yes. But buying that scooter, he is actually will be buying a problem of range anxiety because with activas are things so will we you think that uh, the transport authority hmm. the ministry of road transport highways the minister mr nitin gadkari is very vocal about things you know conversions and everything yeah. they've tested hydrogen yeah. cars and they've yeah. done everything cng yeah. tractors so will they give you a license say that a 15 year old vehicle which has to be scrapped then if it's converted into electric Will you get another, uh, you know, means There's a two ways indefinite to See, life? Mr. Nitin Gatkari is very vocal and he's very informed. And he actually takes a lot of decisions very uh, aggressively. In yes, terms of yes. Decision for in this mobility space or roadways. Or so you will reach been, him and uh, connect yes, with if him. If you look at his, uh, like previous all his conversations, he's been uh, emphasizing the fact on flexi fuels. Ability of a vehicle to run on multiple fuels. So this is one such step yes. on a two-wheeler where the same electric petrol scooter which was driven on a petrol can be driven on electric. Yeah. So Rather than that, switching uh, from a one fuel to a new fuel type, we are saying a flexi fuel type. So what we are bringing in which connects with his thought process and the top level is also flexi fuel capability on existing base. So you would have to actually give him a proposal and tell him that uh, what sort of market you are looking at. And how many vehicles now, if they get it converted, they need not be scrapped. Correct. Okay. So, so what are you looking at? Yes. Like, uh, you should look at the segment as two, three segments, three yes, buckets yes, as such. Yes. One is greater than 15 year old bucket right. in terms of people which have vehicles yeah. which are really old. So that might, the answer to that, there might be not one solution that will suit all of them. So greater than 15 years, they might probably look at complete uh, conversion into pure EVs. The, uh, 3 to 15 
where they might look at retrofitment kits wherein you are getting a bite sized opportunity to get the advantage of an EV okay without taking the entire list or the requirement capacity investment to do a take on another EV vehicle as such so uh, different and one to three years old probably in the next yeah. three years it might recently like one of my friends from media so he had a bike yeah some Honda bike then he thought that going for EV vehicle so we had attended uh, one press conference of Okinawa for five years back so we said okay let's book Okinawa but they were not able the uh, dealer was not giving the proper feedback or whatever so then finally he booked and he cancelled and uh, he's got his bike yeah so the people that it's on the age group also there you know I mean the so of finally like he spent one lakh or something on the bike so now if I tell him tomorrow that okay you can get it you know your old bike into this conversion he will not go yes so uh, therefore essentially the people when it's aging yeah because in India that scare you know, works <laughs> basically we Indians you know we don't win and uh, India is a poor country what I want to say Absolutely. so the minister I want to send this message yes. to all of you also so that the uh, minister also realize that everybody cannot afford today they say we we'll, that's exactly yeah, that so there th you need Bring, to see, there is an aspiration yes, and there yes. is an accessible see what yes. we are trying to build is an accessible solution yes. for people who are aspiring to become an electric mobility yeah, user. Yeah. They want to do their bit for the yes. environment, but still, yes. yes. Because they don't have the entire. So, capacity. you people need to be the ministry, the government of has to wake up and take a call that you people, you entrepreneurs, have to be promoted yes. so that maximum people, there will be so many vehicles, you know. Okay, so, once you, so yeah, using it for the market. once you scale up, then your uh, conversion kits, the prices would come down Absolutely. below 10,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the scale, it's market scale, which yes. the price of price. See, another uh, key thing which uh, today the market on the whole ecosystem is driven on a climate change. Okay, when we all talk about a climate change, it's about the vehicles polluting is another major contributor, like yes, other like yes, industries also. Yes. And if you, if you look at that section of the vehicles, it's primarily the old vehicles. And in two-wheelers, like which is in number and numbers, pollutes. And these two-wheelers are like solution for a common man right? and you cannot just bring a policy for uh, scrapping it it will affect uh, every small uh, individual who is uh, earning his livelihood by vehicles and this is where this technology can bring in the change where customer wants is an aspiration towards cleaner tech and the outcome is we are able to correct our past see when we all say that in future we sell one lakh electric vehicle we are talking predict saying that if we sell one lakh we will offset but yes, we know yes. it's not it happened. It's not happened in the past. It's not happened in the last five years. Yeah. With all it these central state subsidies, it's not happened. Yeah. The, the way is yeah. way to do that is address the existing vehicle population, yes. which are deteriorating, where the emissions are beyond its control because the your new latest norms are only <coughs> applicable on new vehicles. Yes, these old vehicles are just running on road. This is where this can bring in a climate impact. So thanks, uh, so thanks for speaking to us today, and uh, we wish you all the best, and hope that uh, maximum people in the country, you know, uh, there will be people like uh, who are uh, like women also would like to get it converted, you know. I don't know means when we talk about scooters now, even women are riding. So women would say, okay, my old scooter is there, my pink color scooter, you know, I don't want to leave it, that old, that attachment to it. When that was there, na, hamara bachaj. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir.